Hello everybody, so I'm going to show you around uh, Keyword Inspector a little bit to give you an idea of the tools we got for Amazon sellers. If you go to the pricing page, um, this will show you the different tools we have available. Uh, so we got our main, our first ever available tool is our Reverse ASIN Keyword Tool. And that allows you to stick in uh, pretty much any ASIN from Amazon.com and find out what, product, what uh, keywords they're ranking for on Amazon. You can get uh, thousands and thousands of keywords. Uh, from a search like this and they're all real Amazon buyer keywords and you can uh, use them in your Amazon PPC or end your uh, product listings to do optimization for them and we got now it's over uh, 40 I think it's over 46 million keywords that we have that'll uh, that'll let you find all them keywords and we just added an option I'll show you that later on finding right now you can do just a current what's currently ranking for and then you can also do what they've what they've uh, ever ranked for over the past about year and a half now so that's a pretty exciting update we got here and then we got uh, uh, the next tool icon we released was our uh, our product research tool that wasn't too too uh, long ago that we released this uh, that's what this stands for keyword inspectors product research tool uh, what this is is an enterprise class like a uh, research tool for Am Amazon products, and it's we add a lot of uh, different data points to it to be a, to ma make it all searchable for you. So we got like sales per day. We estimate that out off the sales rank, and we've got uh, well over it's now about 150, 160 million products that you can search through. Um, we got some special stuff in here that nobody else can do that we like Kippert uh, Kippert does. So and then we also just we just really recently launched a brand new tool, uh, the Keyword Trends tool. Uh, what this does is use uses all the keywords we got from the Reverse ASIN tool, but it allows you to search through them um, like a like a regular keyword tool instead of reversing it through an ASIN. So what you can do is uh, uh, kind of search filter search through the 46 million plus keywords we got. Um, and find them based on like s estimated search volumes and uh, other things uh, based on this this data we have on the keywords Amazon keywords is updated daily so it's it's not like it's 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 always fresh data that you can search through and find uh, uh, and then it's got some trends data on there that kind of lets you see what keywords are trending over the past year and a half's worth of data that we have so that's pretty neat too so um I'm going to quick go over the, the reverse ASIN tool. So we got a demo. Um, that's for the reverse ASIN tool. And it allows you to kind of figure out things. Uh, so let's do a quick you stick in an ASIN. So you go to Amazon, find an ASIN, and then you stick it in this tool to kind of give you an idea of what you can get from it. It's not going to give you a lot, but it's going to give you some random sampling of it and kind of show you what the columns are that you can get for that data. So we're going to search that. Uh, the demo here, it's it's always accessing our, our data fresh from the database, and the database is being constantly updated. So some searches take a few seconds, some take longer, but um, it's always fresh from the database. So it uh, looks like this ASIN now has 3,706 unique uh, current keywords it's ranking for on page one of Amazon. And here you can see different uh, random, kind of random, somewhat random keywords here. And then we kind of give you an uh, estimation of the search volumes. They kind of go up to from like like zero all the way up to like two million. And this this estimations are really way more accurate than any other tool on the market. Um, and it's always updated daily. So and with our algorithm, it'll basically it gets more accurate as time goes on. So and we'll we'll show you that here too. So. You know, this thing's just giving you a few examples of it, and I'll show you the the uh, different uh, columns that you can get from that. Uh, you can kind of use that every day um, to kind of, and then you can use this to figure out what ASIN you should put, you should spend your credits on. So if you go inside the the tool itself, we'll, we'll use the same ASIN here. Go down here, click to find the keywords for it. Um, so here you'll see how many credits you have currently. Also, you see it right here on the side, and uh, this kind of tells you about it. You put in, you can put in a bunch of ASINs if you want, and then we have different options for reports. So we got the 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 most 
commonly used report is this extensive and what it does is gives you all the columns the data the search volume um, and all that stuff uh, the simple search just gives you all the keywords that uh, it's ranking for currently and basically that's about it and then we got uh, you can do it for a week or for a month and then you got the UK search right now it's it's only for this for like just the rank what it's ranking for currently on UK but we're gonna hopefully in a couple months here we'll have the data uh, ready to go for a uh, for like more of an extensive search on that and then uh, just added we got this all keyword option where basically the other options are only for current keywords that that the ASIN's ranking for and ASIN is an Amazon uh, product identifier um, but this this new option here is for basically gets all the keywords that we ever found that it ranked for on page one and it kind of from the past year and a half or so and that's a little bit more you can get up to some uh, the more popular products you won't get as many extra keywords but the less product common ones are the ones that kind of died off you'll get more keywords because it's obviously probably ranked for them and then stopped ranking for them type of thing so that's a pretty neat option there so Let's go to extensive here, and it looks like we already did it, so we'll just go to the search history. It usually just takes a few seconds to process it, and then you go to the keyword search history. Um, if there's an error, it'll it'll end up in here, and then you can cancel errors and get your credits back and retry it or something. Um, but then if it's processing, it'll be in here, and the processing should take more than a minute, sometimes a second, sometimes a minute, depending on the popularity. So let's see here. We're going to, we're just going to use one of these here to, to check it out here. So it doesn't really matter what it is. So let's go to, uh, we'll just go to fish oil capsules. So, so this is, again, this is always fresh from the database. So, um, because the data is always being refreshed constantly, it kind of has to rebuild a little bit of the index every time. So it's, so, uh, that's fine. It only takes a few seconds. Um, you can download this stuff if you want um, just straight from the list or you can go inside and check it out so this is the extensive search uh, what it does it gives you a lot more data that you can use um, specifically we the one we just added is this, this estimated search volume again updated daily and that's kind of it that's what basically this uh, this rank uh, gets sorted by is this estimated search volume so you can kind of see what this product uh, uh, ranks for all these different keywords there's like more than 5,000 of them so you'll get a pretty good list and uh, this just kind of tells you the the rank of it based on the search volume um, these are all like Amazon buyer keywords and then this is uh this is the uh, like on page one what what position it was at when we last looked at it uh, and then this is like unique words so basically it takes all the wor words from this column here and uh, takes all the unique words. So fish is, you know, fish is the first one and it puts kind of ranks it between these two columns here. And then uh, something that uh, some people find useful may, uh, perhaps is this common misspellings. It's kind of neat. Uh, this is what Amazon has found over the, over the past year or so. Uh, the kind of misspellings that people use to find this you know this main keyword is the main one and then here's the uh, misspellings uh, and then we got this one if you're subscribed to a uh, to the credits uh, if you get credits per every month uh, based on the subscription you'll have access to this one and it gives you like all the product out of all the products in our database it'll uh, it'll look for all the exact matches that have the, uh, the the products title if it has the exact match fish oil in it it'll count them and give you that there and then also we got the number of results for Amazon and then so what you want to do with this list is basically probably use the top keywords in the list the ones with the highest search volume to put in your product listing titles and stuff and uh, you'll want to use these a lot of these keywords um, for your uh, PPCs uh, on Amazon your uh, pay-per-click advertising and uh, you know, maybe do a 20 or 30 keywords at a time in, in different campaigns type of thing. Uh, you also want to use like these keywords in your back end of your product listing and your search terms fields. 
um, try and try and use the the top phrases as they as you see them in here in those search terms and then you know try and get use this uh, word rank and individual words columns or try to get uh, you know at least one of these each of these words in your uh, your bullet points and descriptions and etc cetera, etc cetera, to try and uh, rank it for as many keywords you can on Amazon so that's about it with that um, the uh, simple search will just give you the uh, the keywords and then it also give you the keyword position and then the 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 all option where it gives you all the keywords it could have ever ranked for that's that we found it'll it won't it'll say like na right here so that's that and then let's go to our next one kippert so this tool is it's it's really there's a lot of stuff to it so I'm just going to quickly quickly do it here uh, once you subscribe and you go here you'll see these two options you go to new product research and uh, you can filter through all the products in our database uh, with all these different uh, ways so you can do uh, right now it searches through product titles so if you put in a keyword here you know, fish oil it'll bring up all the products that we have in our database that have fish oil in the title it's a, kinda like a broad match you can do negatives on that if you want to filter out different products you can put in ASINs if you have a list of ASINs you want to look up um, UPCs um, brands this is an exact match uh, you can filter out bestseller ranks and then our on our you can filter on our estimated sales per day um, but you want to do one or the other and then sales price review counts etc etc uh, and then categories you can select the categories or you just don't select any and it'll search them all uh, and something unique to keyword inspector is this variations option so what it does is it uh, it'll uh, get the like the top five variations of every product in your search and it, it'll kind of give you for certain for certain categories Amazon uh, only gives you the uh, sales ranks of the parent ASIN and what this what uh, Kippert can do is uh, analyze and calculate like the top selling variations and, and kind of give that to you uh, based on our data and then we got the batch sizes so with the uh, the uh, the minimum subscription you uh, can only do only have page sizes up to 25 so if, if you're gonna be doing a lot of searches a lot of data sifting and stuff you'll want to get the at least the next one the savvy seller which uh, gives you these options of batches up to 250 I believe where it'll it'll let you you still page size can still be 25 but uh, every page load it can get the next you know next 25 or next 50 if you do 75 and so that for each page load you get more more data points at one time to make searches faster type of thing so uh, most people opt for the uh, savvy package with the uh, I think it's up to 250 per batch to kind of make their searches faster uh, we just added this sold by Amazon thing so if maybe you want to find products that aren't being sold by Amazon you just unclick that and it'll uh, remove all the ones that that are being sold currently by amazon.com that you know from the last time we looked at that ASIN uh, so we got all these different options you can use to kind of search through through niches and stuff um, you, all these searches in Kippert are kind of pretty much automatically saved for you so we got a list of all that stuff and uh, I'm gonna go back here and see if I can uh, look at one of these let's look at this one here so this is a save search so when you do a search it's always live from the database when you're back in that search form um, and then it'll uh, it'll be a little bit it'll be a little bit slower to do so I'm just doing this save search so you got a lot of a lot of different graphs and stuff to look at here and uh, I'm gonna quick go through a few of these so this is kinda like an overall overall of the current page or all the uh, all the stored ones are in these next two rows here and it kinda aggregates all the data for you and kinda gives you in visual form um, you got the uh, new listing so this one's like pretty popular it kinda tells you based on like the keyword or the filter like how many new listings popped up for, within that niche for each month of the year 
and you can kind of tell the competition how much it's increasing and de decreasing based on this graph that's available with the savvy package not not available with the uh, minimum package so uh, and then you got most popular brand and seller and uh, categories and etc and this kind of aggregates all the uh, different data points we have so Kipper actually goes back uh, as long as it can for sales per day and uh, sales ranks uh, so you got monthly graphs here and here's a weekly graph for sales sales per day uh, for price review ratings and review counts and daily recruits, those go back uh, one month. Um, someday here we'll probably end up putting out ways to be able to look at that data over more than a month, but right now it's just a month. And uh, so you get all this data within within Kipper. You don't have to go to other tools, um, and it's pretty much for every for most ASINs we have this data, so you don't have to you know go try looking at other tools and trying to figure out it's all within Kippert so we got other little data points um, number of offers number of images per per product uh, number of features the if it's a standard or oversized type product uh, volume keyword counts so with this so here with this keyword count a graph basically uh, what we've done is aggregated um, all the data we have with uh, reverse ASIN search basically so that each product we know how many keywords it, it was currently ranked for on each each week of the year over the past this is more than a year now so we kind of figure out over time uh, how, what kind of if it's going up or down in keyword counts to kind of to kind of see how that niche is doing you know we got on the individual ones too so uh the the different different uh colors here is like basically let's go over here so for each for each pay um for each keyword that it that we found that ASIN on we see if it's in on position one position two of that keyword on amazon position three four through eight and eight through 17 and we kind of aggregate all that data so that the green is position one so it like here uh, it says 36 so if out of uh, the keywords total keywords it had 36 with a position of count of one uh, and then 26 with a position count of two 22 position count of, of three um, 66 keywords it ranked for, uh, uh, for positions four through eight etc so that gives you an idea of like how many keywords that those products are ranking for you know if if there's like if those keywords are pretty if those products are really entrenched in that in that niche you'll it'll have a lot more keywords probably a lot more first first position keywords type of thing so you can kind of gauge gauge that on, on what it looks like so then down here you have the individual the individual uh, products uh, you got um, images of them just to see what they are the ASIN the parent the title um, these are kind of truncated and you can expand them with these options up here uh, you got the brand the seller you can uh, the category etc and then you got your individual graphs for the last month of pricing reviews um, review curl is one we we uh, kinda nobody else can really do except us what it what it tells you is like this one right here is basically the, the over the past 30 days this product has averaged 0.3 reviews, new reviews a, a day, and this kind of shows you a graph of each day how many it recruited. So, like, uh, you know, if it's less than like 0.5, then it's then it's you know it depends on the niche, but it's uh, um, with a, the lower the lower it is, that means the less the competition is is trying you know trying getting reviews type of thing. So. You want to look for stuff less than a lot less than one to kind of for competition wise and you got ratings and sales ranks um, over the past month and then the week and then we have an estimated sales per day value here based on the basically based on the sales rank for all of our products and then they would graph it out here and then uh, we got like a, a profit basically after Amazon fees and Amazon FBA fees if it's a 
FBA product. And then uh, number of offers. So this doesn't take into account cost of goods. You still have to figure how much how much each unit would cost, uh, and kind of calculate after you know how many units uh, you're getting. What thirty three per day. So you times that by times that by thirty. That's nine hundred. So uh, nine hundred, and then times your cost of goods. Say this product's a dollar. That's nine hundred bucks. So you're still making, you know, after shipping and all that, you'll probably do like maybe five thousand. So that's still a ten thousand dollar product right there. So you'll want to calculate that all out, and then uh, if it's uh, FB currently an FBA, uh, i.e. Prime product, then you can show it there. And if it's what size it is, um, you know, all these other different things, and then uh, keyword counts. That's the current average keyword count that it, you know, from the reverse ASIN search, basically. And then again, the graph and uh, when we first found it here. And this this first found is aggregated up in this new listings, this uh, really important new listings graph that shows you the competition again. So um, there's a lot to this tool, so we're trying to get out a lot more uh not more uh, ways to more education on this tool but you can kind of go through it and there's a, just a lot to it so you you're definitely getting all as much data as you can from any other tool out there Kippert has like the most data you can kind of look at to, to give you a, the best ideas how a product individual product or a niche is doing so uh, um, you can hide, res hide you know, we got a lot of options to hide columns and graphs and stuff and um, page sizes. And if you want to edit a, you know, go back to the, the search, you can edit it with the search form on. Um, and then you can kind of kind of open it up and edit what what that filter was used on that, that search. Um, if you go back to search history, you'll be able to, like, you can, you can download the results right from here. You can uh, kind of go if you're still want to get more results for this for this search. You'd want to go to uh, these buttons here. So like uh, you go to the next batch would be this button here, or if you go to the beginning, you can uh, just completely destroy all the, the stored results and start over with this button. Um, you can copy this if you want to maybe edit the search what you hide the filters search filters you can edit it with this one here or you copy it and then you can go in and edit it and redo it so that you save these results while doing a new one with the different uh, filters another kind of neat neat tool feature is a similar ASINs report so what it does is Amazon kind of tells us what ASINs were similar for each ASIN and then this aggregates all of them similar ASINs uh, in the tool for each ASIN that was stored and then it kind of spits all them out and uh, that gives you kind of maybe uh, ideas for new products if you're looking to get into a niche or expand your niche your product line um, and stuff like that so that's a neat tool that nobody else nobody else does so uh, again this is a uh, fresh from the database so it takes it can take a few seconds but you're getting like a lot of data all at once so that's why it's still really really valuable um, even it takes a few more seconds because you're actually saving probably hours of work while this thing only takes a few seconds so it's definitely a valuable tool so um, so here we got all the uh, all the kind of similar ASINs um, and it automatically sorts by sales per day, but you can uh, sort basically by any of these with the arrow buttons here. You can sort, so um, go ahead and do that. So then uh, last but not least is uh, what we're going to go through is the Keyword Trends tool. So that's our newest tool. It's basically a highly advanced uh, search and filter tool for keywords on Amazon. They're all Amazon Buyer Keywords. Um, this this tool is, is the, all the keywords are updated daily. Um, we try to update them daily. Sometimes we have little hiccups in processing, so it might take an extra day or two to process. But we're trying to get to the point where it's it's daily and it's autom it's highly automatic, so we don't have to worry too much about it. But um, we're kind of on track for that. So 
right now we get you always can know every hour how many keywords you're searching through right now we have 46.6 million you know in a month we'll probably have 48 49 million so we're always updating that uh, you can click these one-time use things here to kind of see just do a quick thing on on the keywords we're going to show you the search form here and then maybe we'll do that one so you can search of course the keywords so this is like a broad match you can put whatever you want in here and it'll come up with all the keywords um, you can put in negatives if you don't want certain keywords in within the keywords you can do a list of keywords exact match and just kind of if you already if you already researched a bunch of keywords you can search for them again and and just find them right away you can do a bunch of broad matches kind of do a like an or like a this or this or this or this type of thing and uh, you can find a bunch of keywords within the niche type of thing and then um, this is kind of a little secret we're coming out with pretty quick here is uh, you don't have this option yet but we got a PPC ads um, so every every keyword we look at uh, we see if there's a uh, ads found in that keyword um, basically on the mobile search we see if there's the the top the bottom two uh, bottom one or two are sponsored ads and then we can tag it and you'll be able to search for that to see like if there's PPC competition for different keywords so shh, don't tell anybody about that one but we're, we should be releasing it pretty soon here um, so you can search for through volumes um, if you want to find high level volumes of keywords and stuff um, that's kind of nice uh, and you got the the changes in volume this is where you're getting into the trending stuff you can kind of tell if a products trending by these different uh, data points uh, so you got we got the real value data points you can search through so like 0 through 2 million and then we got like a like a percentage so like if from yesterday to day if if it went from like 100 to 200 that's like a 200 percent change so you can search through those percentages see what's trending um, and if you want to like have keywords that are trending high that are older keywords you use like 30 day but if you want to do like a one day to net can so and then um, this one's a lot more advanced too but you can kind of search through all them so uh, we track when we found the keywords and you can search that data point through days found to go and you can do uh, so if you want to find the absolute newest keywords you put in a max of like zero you find all the ones we just found yesterday type of thing and then you can search through like all the keywords number of results for Amazon search and then our again our reverse ASIN count for pro this is getting into the products averages so every every keyword we average the product statistics on page one of each keyword and then you can search through those averages so this is like the number of keywords that each product on page one were found with the reverse ASIN search type of thing and then you got minimums and maximums for all these um, you know maybe you want to find keywords that only have are mostly standard size so you can search through that uh, it's like you do 100 percent minimum and all those keywords would have would would have products that are only standard size type of thing and then you got uh, if they're prime so maybe you want to find find those those uh, products those keywords that have like zero zero prime uh, com competition you can put a uh, max of zero on there you'd probably want to do a little bit more than zero but um, that's a pretty neat thing you can find all those those really low competition key keywords that have basically basically zero uh, prime competition but you can sort it by the by the by the volume so that you know the keyword has has some search volume but there's no competition prime wise type of thing and then you got the prices uh, review counts and sales ranks and again our sales per day from our kippert here and then you got you can search for the the products categories that it's ranking for or that it's that the products are what categories they're in so maybe you want to find keywords that have products that are uh, baby related or beauty etc you can select them and then you can do uh Amazon uh, you can do uh, Amazon what Amazon thinks those keywords are you can search through that point and then you can sort it uh, the default is current volume so um, 
let's do a quick search here for uh I'll just do vitamin C serum here, so um, and it's going to get sorted by volume, and we'll get rid of this selection here. And I think we selected this accidentally. No, we'll just do beauty here. So I'm going to hit search keyword. So not unlike Kippert, um, results are stored kind of they're stored as you search, but they get deleted. They don't get actually stored where you can go back to them, so you had to download them as you as you search them. So right now we got we got 50 results of the first 1478 keywords that had vitamin C serum in them. So you'll want to go through each of these pages to download the results, and then once you once you got enough you want, um, you can click here and it'll download it. And then once you once you go back to the the form and redo a search, it'll It'll delete all these and start over. So you got to download them as as you kind of search through them. So here's kind of where we're getting into the cool stuff about this tool is you can actually see uh, here's the current search volume, and then here's like from yesterday if it went down or up in search volume. That's what this arrow dictates. And then of course the vitamin C serum, and you can go to that that keyword search on Amazon with this here, and uh, you can see all these keywords. Um, they're starting to trend up here for much much of the lower keywords but they're trending a little bit down right now for the other keywords so so this graph here right now is a monthly graph so it averages each month over the past uh, right now I think it's a year it averages that and, and gives you a graph of that um, to see kinda what the trend is of each of these keywords uh, based on our estimated search volume and you can see how it goes up and down over the seasons and uh, looks like stuff starting to trend up for vitamin C serum type of thing so you're gonna get all these different keywords and what's what's weird is you wouldn't think this is a really long term keyword long tail keyword it's got a high search volume but you wouldn't think that would be that way but if you go actually go to Amazon start typing in we're gonna copy just a little bit of this and you start typing into Amazon Um, you'll actually see that that whole keyword actually pop populates in there. See that? 20. Let me take it. See less keyword. Oh, there it went away. So there with Selver, it started populating the whole long tail keyword. That's that's how we know that's a really popular keyword. Obviously, you know maybe people aren't typing that whole thing, but Amazon's seen seen this big phrase here and has actually put it in their search suggestion so they know it's it's a really popular product or popular keyword that people would use so they put it in there and that's why we think it's high it has a high search volume so that's that's just one example of, of thousands and millions that you can look at to to kind of see why this keyword has such a high vo search volume um, you can see all these trending stuff so that's kind of just one way to look at the trends. There's more graphs here down the line, but we'll go. Uh, you got the result, number of results, uh, last time we looked at it. So you can see this this term, again, only has like one one listing on it. One on that. So let's go back to here. Type in that keyword. Click on it. And look, one result for that keyword. So if you, obviously this is a prime, so it's probably a, you know, it's a brand, but you can probably, you know, find millions of, you know, thousands of keywords, millions maybe, that have opportunity where where there there's, you know, just isn't anybody else selling on it. So, um, so you got that. You can filter all through this stuff. So, uh, you got number of days that we found it long time. You know, if, you know, down here we got this one. This one we looked at again only was found 37 days ago on Amazon. So it's it's a really new keyword. So obviously it's a new brand type of thing, and you can kind of go. Here's a zero day one that has a somewhat high search volume. Um, so obviously that's another brand that just popped into Amazon not too long ago. So uh, you can kind of go through that, and then um, you got that, and then you got the, the again the reverse ASIN count. Um, so obviously like these the products in here don't have a lot of keywords they're going for so they they're kind of under under uh, 
but they have high search volume, so you could probably go after those keywords. And then Prime, you know, how many the percentage of products that are on that keyword that are Prime, you can kind of go through there and see uh, price. So I'm going to quick go through all this stuff because it's not really that exciting until it gets over here more. So you got all these different product statistics and the, the category of the products on the, on the keywords. And then over here, you can start to see like the more of the trends stuff um, over time. So this kind of gives you averages over seven days and 30 day averages. And actually we got our uh, an average over the whole, the whole uh, time we've had that keyword, we give you an average. So obviously this is a highly popular keyword here, but you can kind of look at that and, and kind of get a overall, a better idea when you're looking into the more of the overall or the 30 days versus the single day or seven day um, and this stuff I'm not gonna really go through here because it's kinda really high level but if you just go over here and, and click on this like top trending keywords this week you'll kinda see what kinda what's been what's popular um, and this data Amazon's data is like old already from when we when you look at it it's it takes them like a week to process their data their keyword data they get via Amazon via customers that type into the search bar so when we process it it's already like you know a week old and then we we only takes us a day to process it so it it's like maybe you know eight to eight to ten days old and those trends kind of back you have to kind of go back like a week with these trends to but they're basically about the about right so um, here we got over the, you know, since we last updated this about 19 hours ago, or whatever it was, um, these, these top keywords have been trending. So, um, adult coloring books obviously have been trending a lot over the past year, but we got new ones trending a lot, like swear word, adult coloring book. That's funny. Um, so you'll be able to tell every day you can come back to this and redo this search and you'll get new keywords to look at new ideas, new product ideas. And uh, you know, if you do like the top today new keywords, you can kind of go there, and uh, you can see look cuss word instead of swear word. It's now it's cuss word. That's a brand new keyword that we just found uh, like yesterday on Amazon. So you get all these cool ideas that you could would never ever be able to figure out by using any other tools or just going on Amazon on their you know maybe on their bestseller, but you're not going to get the, number of ideas, ideas you can get from this tool it's just it's unlimited what this tool can do as far as finding new product ideas and all that and, and knowing what the competition is doing for those keywords type of things so it's it's pretty you can use this for wholesale um, you can use it for uh, drop shipping you know you can use it for private label of course retail arbitrage I and mean, if you can go out and, and find a listing on eBay for the for stuff that's on Amazon and find the low cost and, and sell on Amazon you can do that uh, one quick thing here is when you see these little refresh things so we're constantly going back over these keywords to average out these products we can't do it like all the time or uh, we can't do it every day or whatever so it's it's constantly going back over these keywords and if it misses one uh, the tool will automatically refresh that data and you just need to refresh it and uh, go back into it and it'll it'll refresh that data for you so we automatically do that for you so you always get the freshest data that you can possibly get from our database um, sorry about that my kids just got home so I'm getting ready to close this up here but so yeah these tools are just they're uh, they're pretty crazy we're gonna keep adding features to these tools and make them better and better and it's always going to be awesome. So I uh, hope you guys uh, like that. Uh, if you have any uh, support issues, just go to the support and uh, and start up a ticket for us, and we'll try and get back to you as soon as we can. But we're always we're always trying to add more education now. I've got uh, so just uh, do that, and uh, that's about it. Thank you.